myself and for the second one I'm trying to use one of these extensions because it's long enough to reach the second one and turns out you don't have to touch any of these uh, uh, adjustment bolts it's uh, just for extra oil gallery so I'm going to just uh, have the second ring out from the top because it's easier so that's what I'm going to do Alright guys, this is the perfect tool, as you can see outside is already uh, pretty dark and the freaking dog is always barking. Anyway, so uh, if you're removing the balance shaft, the actual shaft, you can take out the, uh, the first bearing and the second bearing with the same exact tool. You just, uh, so this is how it sits in there, you take it out, you flip it and you start hitting. Uh, unfortunately most of the times if you're using only this you're gonna mess it up the, uh, the edge of it and you can't reuse it anymore or you can't even sell it you just junk it or if you're using a 32 millimeter sock like this one like I did I managed to uh, remove the first one and then you drop it in and you can knock uh, some of the second bearing a little lower so it's gonna start moving you can put some WD-40 uh, on it and then you can take this one and finish it and it took me like uh, a couple of seconds with the with the shaft uh, otherwise I uh, I would have had to guess you know like what to use but since uh, both of them are out this one is still in perfect condition uh, I call it a day probably um, I still have to figure out where did I put the other bearings because the one that I'm removing is probably a junk pretty uh, pretty messed up on the edge so I'm not gonna reuse it okay, to take out the second um, bearing through the block it's gonna be a little more difficult because you barely have a little uh, space to pull it out but so if yours looks exactly like this you can still reuse it because the the outer part is still uh, in pretty good condition you can still put it back if you want to I I think I'm gonna use um, the brand new one I'm still not gonna uh, throw it out but I'm so I'm, I, I still think that I'm going to use the new ones. Okay guys, so the next step is to install the new bearings. And um, since I have, as you can see, like five bearings over here, I just have three because I got a, a set that goes uh, one for the balance shaft and uh, another one for uh, for the oil um, for the oil shaft. And uh, now I have to figure out which two I'm gonna use for the for the balance shaft delete. So um, what I'm going to do is bring the two old ones that I removed recently, and I'm going to use a digital caterpillar. Uh, this is like a $20 or $22 from Harbor Freight so what I'm going to do is measure you know the the width which it says uh, 750 0.750 so what I'm going to do is check on the other ones if I can find the 750 Since it's not perfectly 750, um, the one that I have, but this is the right size. Because since this is not uh, OVM bearings, probably it's gonna be a little uh, uh, shorter. But if you double check, it's pretty much the same diameter. And let's 
let's try to measure it like like this it's 1.780 this one yeah it's 1.782 so this is the right one that I'm going to use for the for the front and I already made the mark over here because this is the rear one so I have to find which one is the rear but probably the probably this one's gonna be the rear let's measure 1744 one seven four four yeah so this is the one and if you're wondering where this one goes I'm going to show you it goes right over here because since uh, you have the oil pump right over here this is the one that's uh, rotating the oil so that's the the bearing for it uh, I don't think I'm going to replace it because it looks really good but if you want to replace it basically that's the same way how I removed the first two and the installation is gonna be we're gonna put the rear one first because as you can see it goes right in because if you install the front one first as you can see it doesn't let anything go further so you want to start with the with the rear one right over there and to do that I got this uh, box from Harbor Freight it says this is the bearing race and seal driver set um, I saw it in the video that the guy was using this to press back the bearings. Um, on that video, he had like a, I think a, a longer handle, and you could attach a, an extension from a ratchet set. But this one, as you can see, the whole thing is fixed. And as you can tell, it's not too long. So, what I'm going to do is uh, install the bearing make sure it's it's, it's straight and I have to use um, an extension um, to do so and I have to make sure that the extension is not hitting uh, in an angle the handle all right so I'm going to clean the bearings because as you can tell it's been sitting in uh, uh, in a box outside it got some oxidation that I'm going to remove but as you can see it's just surface rust and then I'm going to set up the camera so you guys can see what I'm actually doing all right let's check out as you can see it's it's pretty nice um, if you're asking, this one is a, a 360 grit scuff bed, got it from AutoZone, it wasn't too expensive. Okay, now we have these little discs in the box, and you're going to use the 44.5 milli the 44.5 millimeter because the next available one is 50, and it's gonna be too big to put it into the hole. Also, the 39.5 is gonna be too small. That's why you have to go with the. As you can see, 49 is too small. That's why we are using the 44.5. And 
and I'm going to put it into the hole. And then you have to make sure that the that the tool and the bearing is flush inside the engine. And to do that, I think it's from the top, because if you put it in, if you uh, if you push it into the middle, so it's gonna be perfectly uh, symmetrical on each side. It's much better uh, than you know trying to figure it out. Then trying then trying to figure it out if you're uh, if you're st straight from here. So I'll just stick with the top and uh, once I put it in perfectly position I'm going to hold uh, with one hand, make sure that it's not going to move around and I'm going to hammer with the other hand. If you look in the hole you can see that it's, uh, it's pretty lined up. Okay, since this one doesn't really have a hole, you don't have to worry about rotating just to block off the oil gallery. So, you can keep on doing this. And this one is still the, the 32 millimeter big socket that I was using yesterday. And this is like, um, and this is like a 12 inches um, extension. Looks like we already hit the, the wall of the tool, as you can see. And kind of that shows that we hit the, the bottom. And it looks pretty nice. It's right in there. It sits nice and properly. You can see maybe a little better from here. So we have a little lip on the top and we have a little lip on the bottom. And that's perfect. So the next thing what I'm going to do is the, the front one. All right, now in the next step, you have to make sure that you plug that oil gallery. Also, uh, I mean, you can rotate um, the bearing like 90 or 180 degrees. So you can block this one. The hole is gonna be somewhere around here. You don't really have to worry about this bolt. It's uh, just an extra um, oil gallery hole. But what I'm going to do is set the the hole on the bearing on the top like this so it's not gonna be uh, close to this one and it's not gonna be close to that one it's gonna be somewhere in the middle right there uh, of course you have to make sure that it's flush All right. and then you can you can do the same thing you're gonna put it on like that and we're gonna start hitting from the top. Now we are pretty much flush. And I'm going to keep going just a tiny bit so, so the surface of the block is gonna be a little higher than the bearing. Just like this. It's very straight and a little bit 
uh, a lower than the, the deck, than the block. So that's what I was going for. Now the next thing what I'm going to do is clean the whole block and um, put a little WD-40 all over so it's not going to rust again. I'm going to clean it a little bit with the, uh, with the scuff pad and I'm going to start assembling the whole block because if you start assembling the block and you put the crank over here you're barely going to have enough space to, to reach these areas so it's better if, if the block is, is empty like this doing the um, the elimination kit first and then you can uh, you can start doing the assembly of the block all right guys I hope uh, this video was informative and uh, if you guys have a, a better way to deal with or, or other tools to use please uh, put it in the comment section and see you guys in the next video